so it means that you have to educate your people you have to educate your people that if you will educate your people so when they become educated they will think about the things that where they are wasting the things how they can save this thing it means they will make decision by their own and they will make good decisions and if they are educated so they will take benefit from the new technology okay so here now for example i'll give you a small example if you have a old person that old person is have a old car and that old car working on let's say diesel when working on diesel so it producing pollution it's become very old it is wasting the energy like this so now you have electric cars like you have tesla other things you have solar cars so if a person is educated so for him no need to worry he can easily shift from old car to new car or another example for example your parents they before they used to use the mobile with they have dialing pad 1 2 3 and still even my father is using this old phone now he doesn't want to use the the touch phones why because he think that that is easy so but if a person is educated he can go through all features and he can find how to make a call how to take a picture what's what's up all this one so they want to say that if you will educate your people so they can think positive and they will try to save the energy they will be more familiar with the new technology all these things so you have to communicate your people you have to educate your people it has lot of benefits number 2 promote new ways of thinking the message must be that significant saving in energy bills can be made over the longer term reducing the energy now here you know uh, for example now if you are living in saudi arabia so you are aware that before electricity bills are very cheap the whole month you are using your ac is everything so the bill may be maximum coming 100 riyals or coming like 150 but now the same thing is converted into 450 riyals but they make the three categories if you are using 1 to 200 units of electricity you each unit will be 5 halala if you are going more than 200 then each unit will be 15 halala if you are going more than 500 400 it will be like 20 halala per unit so they made these categories now everyone want to be remain in the first category because it is cheaper and what is that category maximum unit you can use in one month that is 200 so how you can make it possible when you reduce your energy consumption you will switch off the light which you don't need you will replace the tube light with led lights you will if you have a old machine you will bring a new machine so by this way you can give this type of saving things for the people so they can save the money for themselves and as a country they can save the energy so by this is another way of educating the people after that now law passed there should be some laws by the government for example now in some countries you cannot have a car which is older than 15 years you cannot run that car on the road if it is older than 15 years why because old cars they have old technology in old technology they are taking more energy so by that way 
so they are replacing them so it is forbidden so any person who is living in that country he has to buy a new car after 15 years so by this way the government can pass some laws and after that preventing the sale of insufficient types of electric devices for example if you have the device in the market which takes lot of energy and give you less input so the government should ban that so like this you have the energy and you have to educate the people to do how to save energy now some the government things they have to do number one insulating older houses and if if anyone has a old house they should insulate it the government should insulate it if the person cannot do to save the energy replace older in efficient electrical devices replace scrapping older ones if they find older ones make it a scrap even the cars as i told you because they are producing more uh, you can say pollution and after that exploiting the existing energy resources what do you mean by exploiting anyone can you tell me the meaning of exploiting exploiting uh, means reserving. like misuse you are just misusing something that is not you are just wasting it that is exploiting whatever you have it now whatever the energy is available now you should stop it exploiting means wasting as we discussing that you should save the energy and use it if you need it after that more renewable resources should be used instead of fossil fuels understand so like this they are saying we have to be think by ourselves how we can save the energy and how we can stop its wasting now transport policies what the government should apply in transport in transport again the fuel efficiency you know that uh, i don't know if you are in saudi arabia after every year your car has to be passed through fahas there is a process this fahas is a procedure that they will check your car they will check your engine capacity they will check how much the gases it's releasing so there should be check and balance by the government to do this one on transport after that restrictions on where vehicles may go now you know that in saudi arabia what i felt maybe you felt that everybody has a car and if everybody has a car even in one house you have two three cars so in that case more you can say fuel is used more fossil fuels are used if the people will leave the private car and they will use public transport like buses like metros so in one bus like 60 people can come and on one side you have 60 cars and other side you have one bus one bus will take the fuel maybe only like two cars and other 58 car fuels you can save and after that if the people are not listening the government can also increase the price of fuel like they did in saudi arabia or the people in some countries they will say you have to pay for your car parking if you want to park a car in this place you have to pay like so for example 5 riyals per hour so if you take a car to your office and outside the office there is a parking so if you are working 8 hours you have to pay 40 riyals per day it's very expensive so what you will do you leave your car at home you will go in a bus and after the bus you will drop you near your office go to the office no car parking fees so like this they are saying the government should make some decisions in transport department and one of them they use the bicycles instead of motorcycles they should improve the pedestrian pathways like this so they are comparing the things how they can reduce it